The Blowpipe in most cases is old school RuneScape's strongest range weapon and one of the strongest weapons in general. A lot of the time it absolutely rips through whatever or whoever you're fighting. There's a lot of people who want it to be nerfed and a lot of people who think it's fine just how it is. But what if I told you that it used to be even more broken than it is today? In this video I'm going to discuss the history of this weapon and when it came out, just how broken it actually was. Quick plug before I start, feel free to join my clan chat in Discord, we're going to be doing a lot of community events fairly soon, and there's a lot of nice people in there, so why not? The Blowpipe was released back in early 2015 along with Zora, one of Old School's first bosses just behind Kraken, the Wilderness bosses, and the Corporal Beast. Two months prior to its release, Jagex teased it with this dev blog simply titled The Solo Snake Boss. The blowpipe, which was originally going to look like this, was marketed towards players as an excellent weapon for PvP, and by having a healing effect on the special attack, it could also create PVM applications for the weapon. Oddly enough, when it came time to pull the snake boss, everything was packaged into one question. So either the boss and all its items would pass, or none of it would. It ended up smashing the 75% yes requirement and getting an 88.6% yes vote. A few weeks later, the snake boss had a poll for what it should be named, and luckily for us it got the name Zora, because the other options in my opinion are not that great. Everyone else seemed to think so as Zora got a little over 50% of the vote. A month or so later, Zora was finished, along with all the rewards, some of which, as you can probably tell, had a graphical redesign, and they were all launched on the 8th of January 2015. It was immediately obvious just how broken the blowpipe was in player versus player encounters. So originally in PvP, the blowpipe was the same speed as it is in PvM. As you can imagine, this made it immediately the dominating item in PvP with pretty much no real counter for it. In a lot of cases, you couldn't even out-eat the damage it did. Here is a clip of how the blowpipe works in PvP now. As you can see, it has the same attack speed as any other ranged weapons, such as the Magic Shortbow. Now here is how it used to work. Back then, in Normal Void, the Blowpipe had a max hit of 32, but if you use the spec, it upped it to 45. Combine this with the Venom effect it has, and there's really no contest. There's pretty much no way to actually fight back. Some people were even comboing this with something like an AGS. So if you were low health, you could blowpipe spec, hopefully heal something like a 20, 30, or maybe even a 45. So you're dealing damage to your opponent and healing up, and then go right into an AGS spec, which pretty much will just stack them out. As you can see by everyone's reactions on screen, the blowpipe was ridiculously overpowered if you couldn't already tell. So how did Jagex fix it? They didn't change its stats or make it break if you die. Four days after its release, they simply made it one tick slower. And just like that, Blowpipe PKing became a lot more niche. Should Jagex have decided not to nerf it, I think it would have been really interesting to see what PvP would be like today, or if it would even be around today. Blowpipe would have easily become the new meta for years and years, until some kind of counter to it could have been introduced. Anyway, that's really all the info I have for this video. I know it was fairly short, but I don't want to ramble on about something that doesn't have much more information to it. However, it was fun to make, so let me know if there's other weapons or armor I should make a video about, and regardless of what you do, I will see you in the next one.